eventually she will be sorry. <laughs> oh, man. I have to go back to the optometrist. I'm reading this Mosquito Man comic, but it's all blurry. You should try wearing the 3D glasses. <laughs> Play. <laughs> now that we're broken up, I'm returning your stuff. Oh, really? Yeah, I mean, I thought you might need your graphing calculator, your scientific calculator, algebraic calculator. <laughs> oh, you need a calculator to figure out how many calculators you have. <laughs> well, I have one. It's just not the kind of thing you lend out. <laughs> well, while you're here, I do have some of your things. <laughs> You had my watch party around? I was practicing to impress you, but I guess I don't have to anymore. I certainly won't miss trying to blow Tiny Dancer on the jug. I certainly won't miss having to rub hand sanitizer on my face before you'll kiss me. You know how many germs there are on a human cheek? No, no one does except you, and it's weird. Uh, that is why I do not have a girlfriend. Yeah, that's why. quickly. Who are you two fighting about? We're arguing over who should get to keep our lab rat buck. Hey there, little fella. Oh. Come here. <laughs> look, he likes me. <laughs> He's giving me little kisses. <laughs> He's just licking barbecue sauce off your tie. Now, can I please have him back? No, don't give him to Cody. Even to me. No, me. I'm clearly... You two need Cody. to cool the heck down now. I'm gonna need some backup in the science lab. You don't even have a radio. You're just talking to your shoulder. That's it. Against the wall, mister. <laughs> Easy, big guy. You're right. Sorry. When bad stuff goes down, my 30 minutes of cruise ship security guard training kicks in. Isn't that like an online course? Yeah. <laughs> I had to come up with a username and a password. That was intense. Since you guys can't decide who should get the rat, maybe you should have a responsible, impartial third party decide. Good idea, Woody. I'd be happy to do it. Yeah. Well, I guess that would be okay. Obviously, you're going to pick me. <laughs> no, he's going to pick me. I'm not picking anybody until I do a thorough evaluation and background check on the both of you. In the meantime, I'll take care of this cute little guy. Whoa. Oh, look at his little whiskers. Hi, hi, ow! <laughs> that little bugger bit me. Well, that's where the guys are always taking his food. Oh, I don't know, but these food products are delicious. Uh, uh. uh, Woody, those aren't food pellets. <laughs> You 
these strawberries are almost as sweet as you. Does this rat bite look infected? <laughs> no, what are you... Now, where were we? I got a tennis on and antibiotics on it, but when you lift up the scab, it's all milky in there. Look. Ew. It even smells disgusting. Oh, no, no. That's actually just my socks. <laughs> That's a lot, Woody. Uh, I'm sorry, but this rabbi is really freaking me out. Why, why, why don't you go bother Cody? No way. You might have that evil lab rat with him. Lab rat, huh? So let me get this right. You were bitten by a rat that had been subjected to scientific experimentation? Yeah, so? Uh, so, you read comic books. You're probably beginning to mutate as we speak. <laughs> mutate? Uh -huh. oh, oh, you're even beginning to grow rat whiskers. <laughs> I am? Ah, and your eyes are turning pink. Yep, you're transforming into a rat. <laughs> you're right. I, I feel this sudden urge to scurry. <laughs> Zach, you've got to help me. Okay, okay. Now, if I were you, I'd scurry immediately into hiding. If the government figures out you're a mutant, they'll lock you up and experiment on you. Remember what they did to poor, poor Mosquito Man? <laughs> they, they cut him open and tried to remove his proboscis to turn him into a giant blood-sucking super weapon. Dude? Stuff like that happens. <laughs> I'm here to observe how you interact with Buck. I have everything I need to take notes. Notepad, pen, and Mr. Gingerbread. Do you really need that? You're right. I can just remember everything. You're doing the rap, just go about your normal business. Okay, well, as you can see, Cody, this is a loving, nurturing environment for Buck. <laughs> supposed to be in the room, which I'm not. I'm in the hallway. I'm in the hospital if you don't get out of here. Please stop. I don't like conflict. You're a security guard. You think I wanted this gig? If I could fit in a tall booth, I'd have my dream job. <laughs> I crushed him. What? Oh, that's it. I'm breaking down this door. Daddy's coming, Bucky. <laughs> Where's Bucket? How bad is he crushed? Right here. And not at all. Then who was crushed? Mr. Gingerbread. <laughs> safer and happier home for Buck. Compelling argument. I am moved. To the rat, Cody. <laughs> what are you even doing here, London? Uh, trying to make sure that filthy rat doesn't move into my cabin? Rats are not filthy. That's a vicious stereotype spread by cats and pine pipes. <laughs> now, research has shown that daily mental stimulation helps keep rats healthy and happy. So, it's time for math. <laughs> it's time to go. <laughs> Now, Buck, to calculate the volume of a cylinder, you take the height. Okay, come on. When is Buck going to need to calculate the volume of a cylinder? I don't know. Only every time his careless mother forgets to refill his drip bottle, so he has to ration water for a week. One time. And that's only because the sheep ran out of bottled water and you won't allow him to drink from the tap. Tap water is full of microorganisms. Maybe if you had some of the nutrients from tap water, you wouldn't be so weak that a girl could beat you up. <laughs> uh, no girl has ever beaten me up. Oh, give it a minute. Wait. Break it up, you two. What, what is this? Sticky string. 
I have another half hour of training before they let me have pepper spray. <laughs> regarding a certain rat. What rat? I'm no rat. I'm not asking you to squeal on anybody. I'm just trying to figure out where this rat should end up. Well, where he should not end up is in a government laboratory being poked and prodded like a freak. Just leave him alone, okay? Barbie, so, have you concluded that Bailey's loosey-goosey attitude proves that she is not fit to take care of Buck? Or have you concluded that life with Professor Killjoy here is something that no living thing should ever have to endure? Will you two stop? You're gonna scare Buck. Look, he's going! What? I don't know how this could have happened. I know I had that cage door closed. Well, Buck does know how to open his own door. He does? How? Well, I, I taught him. <laughs> Why would you teach him that? In case there's a fire? No, what's crazy is you encouraging him to roam free. At least I let him enjoy life and don't make him wear a helmet on his exercise wheel. Those things are unregulated death traps and you know it. Enough! Touch my game. Buck must have run away because he was sick of both of you fighting. I know I'm sick of it. If anything happens to that little guy, it's on your hands. How are you going to find one little rat on this great big ship? over there. Missing pet rat. Reward five dollars. This should do it. Rat man, do you have a key? 
To the city? No, not yet. But I am expecting a call from the mayor any time now. I meant the key to our room. Oh. No, but worry not, for my rat-like powers allow me to squeeze through the smallest of openings. Wait, you can barely fit through that door when it's open. Fear not, citizens, for I will find another way into that lair. Unfortunately, not the rat I needed to find. Ah, yeah. Bailey told me I lost luck. That isn't my fault. And I can't believe Bailey is blaming me. Uh, I am so done with her. Glad to hear it. I'm never going to talk about her again. Excellent. I mean, she's impulsive, irresponsible, reckless, and takes way too big a bite when she starts my apple. It's called starting an apple, not finishing it. Um, she doesn't have that horsey over, but <laughs> That's not her fault. I mean, her family couldn't afford real braces, so they had to use chicken wire. Wow. You were so not over her. I'm so? Uh, where's that stupid key? Oh, I have one. I have to use your bathroom so I don't stink up mine. Never fear. Ratman is almost here. I'm going to try and lure Buck out of hiding using his favorite book, Of Mice and Men. He's reading a book? Nope, he's eating it. Stay safe, citizen! Okay, Woody, this has gone too far. I know, but I can't stop the mutation, so I decided to embrace it. Now, as Ratman, I roam this floating metropolis in search of villains and chunks of Gouda. Okay. You don't have any superhuman abilities. You barely have normal human abilities. Then explain how I can squeeze through this small opening. First of all, you can't even get your rat fat through. And second of all, I just told you all that rat stuff so you'd stop staring at Salome. But now you're staring at more. And me. And whoever's on the tail end of this porthole must be terrified. <laughs> bait these boxes, and when Buck comes along, he'll be captured without any harm. Here, take some bait. <laughs> what is this? Soy bacon. Vegetables masquerading as pork. That should be illegal. <laughs> Here, Pepsi. Here, Buck. Have your favorite hot dog. What? Really? You know that Buck doesn't eat meat. Actually, he does. Since when? Since he hadn't eaten in days and your stupid tofu was piling up in his cage. I can't believe that you compromised Buck's health and his commitment to supporting small family-run organic farms. A little hot dog is not going to hurt him. <laughs> well, did you know that some hot dogs have traces of rat in them? So now thanks to you, Buck's a cannibal with a cholesterol problem. <laughs> If we're lucky. Oh, no. Oh, yes. What are you doing? Those cats are for the rat, not you, Woody. I'm not Woody. I'm... Oh, jeez. <laughs> Look, there's Buck. We gotta save him. But only a rat can climb up there. Fear not, Red Man is here! <laughs> Including escorting young ladies to their cabin. 
That's why I thank you. Hey, 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 wait. She's my girl. Let's see. Juice guy. Superhero. Later. <laughs> Come on, Buck. Let's go back to my cabin where you'll be safe. Uh, not so fast. Curry still hasn't decided who gets to keep up. Actually, I've decided to let Buck decide. Huh? Well, you both obviously love him, so the only fair way to do this is to let Buck choose who he wants to be with. Whoever he goes to gets to keep it. Come on, Bucky, come to Mommy. Vanessa, Vanessa, Papa. I'm teaching him French. Come on, I'm getting He must still be smelling that barbecue sauce. Maybe Buck is trying to tell us something. Yeah. I mean, while we've been busy fighting, Curry's been taking great care of him. So if Buck wants to go with Kirby, maybe we should just let him. You're right. I mean, if that's where Buck's happiest, that's where he should be. Really? Thanks, guys. I'll take great care of him, and you can come see him whenever you want. Just not at the same time. <laughs> Glad we could agree on one thing. Yeah. Can we also just agree to stop figuring? Agreed. Cody, um, we shook hands and he didn't even make me baptize. People can change. Every community needs a protector, a hero willing to poke his whiskers into the face of danger. Those who prey on the frail and weak, beware. Oh, villains, my mighty squeak. For I am Ratman. I'm gonna need freakishly large animal control on the sky, didn't